Two women in a Pinal County jail accused of trafficking fentanyl pills. Police in Casa Grande discovered half a million pills during a traffic stop with the help of a canine. Now we're learning how the drugs were disguised. Fox 10's investigative reporter Justin Lum with details on a major bust, and he spoke to the mother of one of the suspects. And John, Christina, the canine who sniffed out the fentanyl, well, he recently recovered from a rattlesnake bite. And now two women from the Phoenix area are facing some serious charges. At the same time, two kids are in DCS custody. Less than 24 hours later, the mother of 30-year-old Tanya Solis spoke to Fox 10, still in shock. I just found out yesterday that my daughter was trafficking drugs. She does not want to be identified, but says she had no idea what Solis may have been involved in. She tells me Solis started spending more time with 31-year-old Martha Lopez and taking frequent trips to Mexico. Monday evening, Casa Grande police arrested the two women after a traffic stop for speeding. Police say inside the SUV, K-9 Dutes and his handler discovered dozens of collagen bottles containing 500,000 fentanyl pills, a handgun, and a large amount of cash. Solis's two daughters, also in the car, now in DCS custody. Why didn't she think about us and her children? I have a lot of things to tell her. It's really a weapon of mass destruction and these people need to be stopped. Teresa Guerrero is relieved these pills are off the streets. She lives in Tucson. Her son Jacob Guerrero died in 2020 after using cocaine she says had been laced with fentanyl. Not even an entire pill, yet it killed the 31-year-old. Um, you can't smell it. You can't taste it. Uh, it's just, it's evil. Through March of this year, the DEA Phoenix Division has seized 5 million plus fentanyl pills statewide. Guerrero has made it her mission to educate parents. I talk to strangers all the time and I tell them my story because I want them to be aware. Now, Solis and Lopez are accused of transporting narcotics for sale, weapons misconduct, and child endangerment. The bizarre ways these pills have been found by law enforcement aren't necessarily new. They found them fentanyl pills stuffed in burritos, buffet food trays, and even a crock pot. John, Christina.